Now, boys and girls, I want to show you that through our story, boys and girls, today, I, I have a few little toys because I thought they were so cute. And I found them in my uh, granddaughter. When she comes to visit, she has a big toy box. So let me give you an idea. If you want to create a, a bear story and you have little bears at home or big bears, you can use your imagination, boys and girls, and you come up with your own bear hunt. You can use Papa Bear, Mama Bear, Baby Bear, if you have them, and create maybe a different kind of story that you're thinking of. Maybe you have different kinds of teddy bears. Maybe you have tall, short, furry. Maybe you can do a different kind of story using your different kinds of bears. If you want to do something different other than a bear hunt, maybe you want to do a tiger hunt or you go on a safari, okay? And you hide the tiger somewhere else, maybe behind a bush. I'm going to let you think about that. You want to use your imagination and also, boys and girls, the reason, another reason why I wanted to do this story, like I told you before, is because I want you to use your bodies, use to be healthy, use your bodies. If you're going to go through the mud, okay, if you are going to go through a bad storm, how are you going to move your body? How are you going to walk through mud? How are you, what are you going to do? When you use your body and you exercise, you're going to feel good. So that's another message. We can have adventures, but also we can exercise and not only get our mind feeling good, but also our body. Don't forget that. When I, what I did was, well, I kept thinking to myself, Mr. Mansky, what can you do to feel kind of good? Well, I can go running. I can jog. And also, I found this jump rope. And I said to myself, well, that would be fun. I've seen students be so creative when they jump rope. They can count. They can sing when they jump rope. That's a good way to exercise, boys and girls. But you have to think of some of these ways that you're interested in. And also, at the very end, remember my special box, the one that looks like shiny, shiny she shells. It it has a message, and let's see what this message is today. It says, home, let me see if I had it right, home, sweet home. Again, this is so important, especially in our time today how we have to be responsible what we do. We can go on adventures, we can have fun, we can exercise. But something that's very important today, boys and girls, home sweet home. This is where we're at most of the time. And this is where we're gonna become adventurous. This is where we're going to exercise. This is a place where we're safe right now. Just like that whole family, they were safe in their home from that bear. But our homes are a safe place for us. And we can still have fun being at home. Did you know that? Home is sweet and home is safe. And we're so fortunate to have our homes to be safe. I'll put it back in my box until next time when I read a different book and I'll have a different message, okay? So don't forget boys and girls that make every day adventurous day. Make every day an adventurous day. All right. 
Let me see if I can find my pom-poms here because I want to tell you thank you for being here and thank you for bringing your special, special friend today. You brought your bear if you had one. And if you didn't have one, you joined in with all my bears. Till next time, stay safe. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And I have to put my coat on. Hold on. Because I might go on a different adventure. It might be about another furry animal. I don't know. A tiger. A lion. Something that I... Or a cat. It might be something different. Ooh, sometimes it's kind of hard to put your jacket on. Here we go. Till next time. We hope you enjoyed the adventure. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.